Well, the Chevrolet Safe and Fun Hockey Program started in 1999, and it was actually myself and Bobby Orr and Mike Bossy who, who kind of started the program, and it's kind of evolved and changed over the years. We've had parent manuals and focused on parents' behavior to, um, obviously it's always been an on-ice focus as well with respect and responsibility in hockey. And uh, over the last four years, we developed the Chevrolet Hockey Helmet Program, where we give free hockey helmets to five-year-old kids, boys <coughs> and girls, and um, it sort of ties in with the, the safety aspect of Chevrolet Safe and Fun. Do kids need new helmets every year? You know, I, I think so. I do. I really do. I think, um, you know, now that I'm a parent, I kind of look at it as a car seat. Like, I wouldn't get a used car seat for my child unless I got it from a friend who I knew wasn't in a car accident or something like that. But I think, I think making sure if, if you're buying a used helmet that it's 100% guarantee that it, it hasn't been struck or um, hit many a times beforehand. I think you want it to be as new as possible and, and fit as proper as possible. So what, what kind of messages are, are you trying to get out to the public? Well, the messages are to keep the game safe by emphasizing respect and responsibility. And we try to reach everybody who's involved in the game, the players, the parents, the coaches, the trainers, the referees, that they all have to be aware of safety. In fact, I think the coaches' uh, big uh, responsibility is that the coach is in charge of safety. My, when my kid was playing hockey, I saw a fist fight between the coach and the father of the opposing player who happened to be a star. And our coach, dopey guy, said, you know, get him, hit him, take him out. And these kids are like eight and nine years of age. Can you believe it? Wow. So that's what we don't want to see. We want to see parents clued into the fact that safety is the best policy.